Hey, it's me, Mark, and after what a what is it like a year? I finally have this video done. Yep. Are you happy yet? You better fucking be, cause I fucking hate making videos. But here it is. Uh, let's see. Uh, back and forth. Uh, it's plastic. I painted it. Now it looks more metal-y than plasticky. And uh, that's basically how you do it. No, but seriously, thanks a lot for how the last video did. I, I really didn't expect that to blow up and be like the big, biggest video I ever made. Awesome on you guys. Uh, and due to all the numerous requests, here's the 12-inch version. Uh, yeah, sorry about taking a long while. Uh, just made me lazy. But I uh, hope you enjoy it and uh, follow through and maybe try it on your own. To get started, I'm going to use a Phillips uh, screwdriver to start taking out all the screws. And I'm not going to worry about losing them since I'm not going to use them again. I'm just going to super glue everything back together like a normal person. And after pulling out the tail from its butt, I can start to rip apart the body. That way both the head and the spine and everything else could be taken apart too. And then the spine can just slide right out, and I'll have the horrible trouble of trying to pry open the mouth like a dog trying to not spit out its fucking wood. It, it, it just pretend it's an animal that you would desperately need to open the mouth open. D d understand my frustration in this, please. And then uh, I'm going to start trimming down the lower jaw. Uh, with a little razor blade. Uh, again, don't stab yourself like I do. It's uh, very easy to do so, and after a while your fingertips don't grow back. Trust me, after seven hands gone, it, 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 it's, it's a big deal trying to find new people to harvest their hands. Anyways, let's go on to the next part, which is uh, basically just trying to carve away inside the mouth to make it have a nice cavity for it to have like a mouth cannon. In this case I'm going to use a little washer from a, I, I don't know where it's from, it's just a little metal washer, but I think it looks nice and it's, it'll work, it'll, it'll do the job. Then I'll uh, trim a bit off the top and uh, just mess around with the mouth until I think it looks good enough to stop messing around with. Okay so here I'm using a cutoff wheel for a Dremel. and. In hindsight, I don't recommend this. I use it a lot in this video, but uh, I, I made a few more of these Mechagodzillas and I found that it's a lot easier and a lot less messy if you just use a handsaw instead of a fucking metal spinning bit that throws hot plastic everywhere, including your eyes. It burns like hell. Uh, d don't try what you're doing, what I'm doing, because unless you know what you're doing, does it makes sense. No, it doesn't. Anyways, again, I'm just test fitting everything to make sure it works how I want it, and I want to make sure it works how I want it, because I'm making it. Yeah, does it sound like my brain's dying? It's probably the toxic fumes. Open a window when you're cutting all this shit. It sucks. I, this thing wasn't designed to be taken apart, so I uh, would not recommend it, but here's how I did it. Ooh, and here's stupid idea number three. I used a little wire, heated it up with candle to stab it through the plastic to get a hole for the wire to sit in. Uh, not a great idea. Um, it, when I tried this again, I just used a bunch of super glue and uh, baking soda, and that works a lot better than uh, hot metal and plastic. Take this video as a general guidelines on how one person did it. Don't follow my steps exactly, because, uh, it, you're watching the video, you see how it goes. Oh, and another thing. Uh, yes, I'm using a ball joint right here. If, why don't I use it everywhere else on the Mega Godzilla? Because I don't want to, I'm lazy. I, these ball joints, I, I bought them off eBay. I'd rec if you were doing this, I'd recommend you using them, but uh, honestly, I was going to spend an extra dollar on this thing, so I just was going to use the wire. I like the wire. And uh, finally, 
I'm never gonna tell you what kind of wire this is. This is my secret with me and my cat. You'll never find out because this it's my magic. Okay, now we're gonna start breaking off other parts of this thing and we'll start off the arms. Uh just mess around with it. That that's that's how I did it. If if you break something hard enough it'll break. I hope you can tell that my brain cells are dying as I'm doing this. Again, hot melting plastic does not work well with the brain cells. There's like three of these little little thingies in my brain left. Damn right they're gonna die soon. Again, just use a handsaw. 100% recommend that over a Dremel. And the basic idea on articulating any of these body parts is cut it where you want a joint to be and then just make a hole so that you could either fit a wire like I am or a ball joint through that and just smush the two together and suddenly, suddenly you'll have uh, articulation in that one spot. So here it's just on the elbow and at the shoulder. Yeah, yeah that's what it's called. When you're making this you're going to use a lot of hot glue sticks. Uh, most of this thing by the time I'm done with it is just a uh, 90% hot glue. It, it gives it some mass, it has a nice weight now, but it also uses a lot of hot glue. Does that make sense? It burns the shit out of you when you touch it, and I burned the shit out of my hands when I touched it. D just... Brain cells dying here. This this is... I, I'm a monkey in this position with sticks, and it looks nice at the end, so who the fuck cares? And just like the arms, I'm doing the exact same thing with the legs, breaking apart where I want it to bend and do stuff at, and then drilling the hole, adding wire, it, it's the same thing, different appendage. This time though, I'm going to use a lot of wire, uh, because it's going to be carrying the whole weight of the, of the mech, so it should have a lot more support than the arms. If you're going to use ball joints, I'd probably go with like a bigger socket or something. I haven't really done much with ball joints, so you, you'll find out when you try it. Again, like a model kit, I just want to make sure everything fits in place before I start messing around with the glue and get it stuck in a way I don't want it to be. Uh, that's, that's really important about this, is just making sure it works how you want it to work until you commit to gooping all over it. Uh, for some of the parts, you're going to have to go full on monkey brain on it because they manufactured it with extra glue just to fuck with you and uh, go ham on it. Uh, I broke a few parts off of the screen, just glue it right back on and you'll never know it's broken in the first place. Uh, yeah, just have fun smashing your fingers with this stuff. And if you thought it was pretty repetitive with a uh, working on two arms and then two legs, it's going to be really annoying and long and annoying with doing the tail. There's like, I can't remember, 17 pieces in that fucker. It's long. When you cut it off, it's hard to lose pieces. It, so far, compared to the tail, this is all beginner easy shit. But honestly, it's really fun in, a, it, in its own weird way. Uh, no matter how many times you burn your fucking hand or stab it or lose a finger and have to throw it back, it it's fun. It, it's not for everyone, obviously. Definitely not for kids. If you're a little kid watching right now, fuck off. Except you, Nathan. I love you, Nathan. Anyways, at this point, it's just fun putting it all together and seeing it come back and looking like it wasn't fucked over by a dumbass with a Dremel throwing hot plastic all over the room. It, it looks like it was made for this and I, it's it's nice. It's nice. Again, brain cells are dying here so uh, commentary not going to be 100% in this video. Maybe the next one when I'm uh, fucking with fire or sulfur. We'll, th we'll see how that goes. And I'm going to spend a lot of extra time making sure that the legs here are sturdy, that I added enough goop that I feel comfortable it not breaking off and shit. It, it, again, it's going to be carrying this whole giant hot glue mess on its on these two little wire joints, so I really want it to be sturdy and not worry about it falling, which uh, in the end, it does fall a lot. 
So should I add a little more glue, a little more wire? Just a heads up for if you try it. And once the lower torso is filled up with hot glue, it starts leaking everywhere, but uh, I can stub the legs right in there and hopefully have it stand up for a bit. I love that it kind of looks like Kermit with his like danky ass fucking long ass legs. It, it's beautiful. The design of his Mechagodzilla is terrible, but beautiful. I do plan on actually uh, doing the same thing I'm doing here with uh, the 12 inch Kiryu vinyl. I have two of them and I, it's on my to-do list. I, I'm going to do a lot more uh, ball joints in that one, hopefully, if I'm not lazy by the time I do it. In hindsight, for this Mechagodzilla, I just like the legs, I should have added more glue and a lot more wire to give it more support. Uh, it would have been nice if it could hold like more weight in the arms, but uh, it's really up to you on how much you want to make it durable. I know that there are a ton of other customizers on like Instagram and so on that will do an awesome job if you like commission them to do this, but uh, Honestly, for th this is for my own personal collection, so I don't really care how well it works. As long as it looks good on the shelf, I'm happy with it. Uh, I know that doesn't apply with everyone. Some people want to really play with it. And uh, yeah, it, it, just spend time on it on however you want it to be. And now we have reached the most horrible part of customizing this guy, and it's a long fucking tail. Uh, here you finally see I got my hand saw in between these cuts it's been like I don't know like a year or something a ridiculous amount of time because I was putting off the tail for so long I just with the last one I worked on the tail was annoying the second one was annoying and then the third time that you're seeing right here it's still annoying cutting the tail so many pieces take so long to cut but it it's a you gotta have a nice articulated tail if you're gonna customize this thing because you have to commit all all the way. And on this part, uh, you see I'm just using a long ass thick wire to act like a spine so that it can hold it all like a necklace. Just like the mini version, uh, make it bigger. But uh, I think this part would really work great with uh, those ball joints I used at the beginning. I think they're called like armature ball joints. They're like for stop motion people. Uh, just have fun making it. Again, brain cells dying here. Great commentary being done by my brain cells. But now that the, the body and like everything else is finished, we can finally work on my favorite part, and that's going to be painting. Uh, for the first try, I used uh, spray paint. Don't recommend using that. Uh, second try, I used an airbrush, and that worked so great, I used it again for this video. So what I'm going to do is add a base coat black. This is going to do a few things. It's going to make it black. <laughs> Laugh at my jokes, please. I need them. Anyways, it's going to act as a base for silver. So if you add a black, then silver, it'll make the silver a lot more shiny than if I just sprayed all this with silver. Uh, another thing about it is I could also get some like dark shadowing. I wanted more of a gun metal on this guy, so that's also going to help with it. I do like how it just looks with uh, the plain silver. Uh, it looks a lot like the, the Monster Arts lazy paint job of just silver, but it, it is nice. It, it does remind me of the Terminator. Like I, I see the inspiration from, even though it's, that's kind of bad inspiration for a Mechagodzilla. Like you go for Mechagodzilla instead of a fucking tiny human robot. Anyways, I hate this design, but it's, it's fun paint. And instead of straight up red, uh, I decided to go for a pink. Uh, thought it would look nicer just from a distance, kind of emit more of a, a red glow instead of just adding straight red. Uh, again, you could go more intricate by actually having a, like, what's it called, transitions of like a dark deep red to a soft pink. Uh, get as detailed as you want. I'm just going to do straight up pink because that's easy. But after these uh, pink highlights, it's pretty much done. Uh, yeah, it, it took a while to come out, but it's done. If, if you wonder why, it, it takes a lot longer to uh, make something if you're always having the camera right in front of your face and pacing. Um, give me like five more minutes to come up with four more excuses, and then you 
give this video a like, subscribe, please. I need it. I need the validation. Love me, mother. <coughs> Sorry, uh, the, the, uh, the smoke it got to my brain cells again. Anyways, uh, thank you a lot for watching this video. Uh, I know most of you aren't going to try this, but if you do, please tag me in it. I want to see if you guys come up with... I, I just like watching other people make shit. That's why I'm doing these videos, because I like making shit. I like watching other people making shit. I like taking shit. And, uh, yeah, I think that's a good way to end the video.